channel. Today's makeup look will be a black matte smoky eye and I decided to do this because I had a couple people asking me to film the look that I did in my Naughty and Nice Challenge winners video and all I did was just a matte black smoky eye and I do this a lot for kind of like special things like New Year's or just when I really want to get dressed up and I thought it's really classic and it's also really simple and wearable so I thought you guys would really enjoy this makeup look so we're just going to jump right in. I'm going to start out with the face makeup and then I'm going to go on to the eye makeup. Okay guys, so first I'm going to prime my skin and then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Finish Foundation and I'm applying this with an artist brush and I really love using this brush because it spreads the foundation out really evenly and it makes it very matte which I really like. And next I'm going to apply my NARS Creamy Concealer and this is in the shade Vanilla. I haven't used this concealer in a really long time but a dupe for this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer which I also really like. It's a bit more dewy and a lot more hydrating, but they're both really great. Next, I'm going to set that with my Kat Von D Contour Kit. And I'm just using the two lightest shades in the contour kit to set the highlighted areas of my face. I'm gonna set the rest of my face with my L'Oreal Infallible Matte Powder, and I use the shade 200. Next, I'm going to go in with my Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, but you can also use the L'Oreal True Match Powder in Cocoa. I think it's C8. It might be C8 or N8, but I will link it in the description. They are definitely a dupe of each other. They're both matte bronzers, and they're both really beautiful. Next, I'm going to apply my Milani Berry Amore Blush. This is just a really pretty pinky bronze blush. And next, I'm going to apply Champagne Pop by Becca and Jaclyn Hill, and I love this so much. I use this every single day, pretty much. This has always been my go-to highlighter. I just haven't found anything that I like better yet and I'm applying this to the bridge of my nose as well. Next I'm going to fill my brows and when I fill my brows I always use this little brush that I got from Publix. I will link the name of it in the description box but it's just a really great brow brush. I comb it out first with my Anastasia brush and then I apply my Anastasia brow powder in medium brown and then I'm going to go in and set my brows with my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. Next, I'm going to prime my eyes, and then I'm going in with my Morphe 35N palette, and I'm using the light warm brown shade in this palette to apply this to my crease, because for the smoky eye, I always really like to warm it up a little bit, because I don't want it to be too gray or too dark. I just like to add a little warmth in the crease, because it makes it a lot easier to blend later. Next, I'm going to apply a black gel liner. I'm using the Maybelline gel liner for this, but you can use an eyeliner crayon if you want. Anything really works, but just a gel base is really important when doing a smoky eye. This is going to really make it a lot more darker. I'm applying the Morphe 35D palette and I'm just using the matte black in there. And I'm applying this to my lid and I'm kind of bringing it up a little bit. I'm just doing this little by little because you don't want this to get messy. You just want to go really easy with it. Then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and this is just a Sigma fluffy brush and I'm just blending this out a little bit. I didn't want to apply any more product. I just really wanted this to be nice and blended. So you're going to be doing this for a few minutes, but it'll be worth it in the end because you will have a nice and blended, blown out look. You just want to make sure you go in with that fluffy brush and be careful with the product. Just if you're going to add more, just add a little bit more and not much more. Next, I'm just going to apply more black to the lid area and that's it. And then I'm going to highlight using the Morphe 35N palette and I'm just using the lightest shade in that palette to highlight my brow bone. Next, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Smolder eyeliner pencil in black and apply this to my waterline. And then I'm going to go in afterward and take an angled brush. And I'm going to take some more of that matte black. And I'm just going to smudge the lower lash line, but I didn't want to smudge it too much. Just a little bit to make it more smoky, a little bit more grungy, but I didn't want to make it too intense. So I just added a little bit more of the black. And now I'm just doing some extra blending with that fluffy brush from Sigma. This is just making it nice and blown out where there's no harsh edges, which is really important when you're doing a smoky eye. I just figured this would be a nice classic look for New Year's Eve that you guys would enjoy. And I definitely love wearing this look all the time. Next I'm going to take my CoverGirl Super Size Me Mascara, and you guys know I use this pretty much in every tutorial. This is my favorite mascara ever, so I'm just applying a light coat of that. And I'm going to go in with my Red Cherry Lashes in number 523 and apply these. I always apply them with my fingers because I'm so used to putting on false lashes. And I'm going to add some mascara just to add some more drama to the look. 
which I think really makes the lashes pop out a lot when you're wanting a more dramatic eyelash look. Just apply some mascara, but you don't have to be super heavy handed with it. Just a little bit on the tips of the lashes always really opens up your eyes a lot. Next, I'm going to apply some to the lower lashes. And I just always do this with my makeup. I just love lower lash mascara with any look, really. Next, I'm going to be lining my lips with my MAC lip liner pencil. And this is in Double Time. This is just a really pretty peachy nude. And I think it goes really well with the liquid lipstick I will use in a few seconds. I just think this is a really nice color if you're looking for a nude lip liner for all of your nude lipsticks. This matches pretty much anything. Next, I'm going to apply Ofra Cosmetics liquid lipstick. And this is in Bel Air. This is a really pretty peachy nude. It kind of reminds me of MAC Peach Stock, but this is nice because it's super long lasting and these formulas for these liquid lipsticks are super hydrating. They're not dry at all. They just, they dry matte, but they're super comfortable on the lips.